A new man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Hello, friends. Um, starting our day at two in the afternoon. <laughs> Jason and I kind of have a good little routine going where I go walking, he goes hiking um, in the mornings on his days off, and it works out quite well. That little thing is like that little strap is about to like fall off. Like it is. It's been that way that's unfortunate. You could probably sew it. Just leave it attached. Just leave it there. The um, beep is bugging. There we go. All our profiles are messed up. That's I get in my car and it says it's you, and then my seat. I adjust I it. Past it first. None of the settings are where I want them. And <laughs> anyway, today I woke up and well, we slept in. I will say because we wake up at six in the morning and we're like, we don't have to wake up right now. What are we doing? Um, I ended up watching a Netflix show at like oh. seven in the morning because I couldn't go back to sleep. Huh. But it did put me back to sleep. So <laughs> anyway, and it was cold and rainy all morning and then the rain stopped at about nine. And I was like, oh, but it's not gonna get sunny. And I just, I had to tell myself if I don't get comfortable going walking when it's cold and not sunny, I won't keep this routine up. Yeah, we don't Beyond have the summer and the days. fall. Yeah, I would not have enough sunny days around here. Rain is different. I don't know what I'm gonna do in the rain. Walk inside, I guess, it's not as fun. Um, but I just kinda had to tell myself, there's like three delivery trucks right in front of me. Oh, you're gonna have to go, cause there's no other way. All right, hang on. Anyway, if I, I just knew if I didn't get up and go when it wasn't raining, it's supposed to start raining here like an hour and a half, I wasn't gonna go and then I would feel a little bit guilty because it's gonna be sunny the rest of the week and the kids are officially done with school tomorrow morning. And so I just need to like create the habits and go in the mornings. I actually need to start getting up earlier when it does start getting warmer, but also to like, um, what do you call it? Get, the, get it done before the kids want to go do stuff. Like if I'm gonna go to the beach or take, you know, kids to different places or whatever during the summer. So anyway, I did, I went and I walked five miles and it felt great. And you went on a hike, you wanna take the camera and? Oh, I just went on a hike. It's one I've done before. Do you wanna, can you take the camera? <laughs> I went and did the hike I've done before. We've shown it to you before. I've got footage of the top. It was up in the clouds, so I didn't stay long. Yeah. No point taking footage the whole way up because you've already kind of seen it. But yeah. I was just trying to go a little quicker than before. I think I did. Yeah, I didn't go quicker today. I just was enjoying the podcast. I was listening to a couple different podcasts. Um, I had lower energy this morning. But I will say, after four miles, I walked past this lady that I've seen other days. I'm starting to see, like, the regulars. <laughs> They're all, like, older. But, um... I've seen her other days, but I hadn't seen her today. And I anyway, I walked past her and she turned around and she Battery's was starting to go. And she was like, Oh man, you're still walking. Way to go. And I was like, What do you mean? And she's like, You've been walking all morning. And I was like, Yeah, we're coming up on two hours now. And you know, I think I'm gonna go home soon. And she was like, Oh, I bet that feels so good. And I was like, Yeah, it feels good to get out here on the trail. And she was like, No, it feels good to go home and be done. <laughs> I <laughs> just anyway, but it's I, all about I did, just getting out there. Yeah, just get out there, just do it. And I, I have to get used to going on gloomy days like this, or I'm not going to go in the fall. Yeah, we don't so. live in California, unfortunately. No. Contract on camera. <laughs> Two seconds after I turned off this camera, I've got a new battery in it. We were coming down the hill. We're coming to like the green, it was a light the intersection, which is usually red. And, uh, no, it's not usually anything. It is what it is. And I will make an executive decision because I'm the driver. She was, look, and, looked like she was slowing down out of habit. And I said, green light. Out of habit, he controls the situation. And I just yes. said, green light. And she then got mad at me. Cause, because this is our usual. You control how I drive with your narrative constantly. So we make a contract. I just can't say anything. No, not at all. 
You can have conversations with me, but it cannot be about driving. Okay. Say it. I can have conversations with you, but I can't say anything. About my driving? About your driving. <laughs> or traffic. At all. Say it. I can't say anything about traffic. If you're about to hit something, I'll just... You just let me hit it. Just let you in hit it. 36 years of driving, 30, 30 years of driving, I have actually not... I've only hit one car. And I wasn't actually even driving. What do you so, mean you were driving? How I was stopped at a stoplight. Oh, yeah. 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 What, what, um, what was that? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I'm a good driver. So you need to you let me drive. Driver. You are a good driver. You, you just guys, we have a very like good relationship, and he uh, he's not a controlling husband except when we drive. This is just a man thing. It's so I, it's, hard. It's absolutely BS. It's so, this is why it's absolutely this is why BS. Guys like to drive, and this is why I own my own car, and I don't let you drive. I'll kick you to the curb if you keep up. With it. <laughs> yes, we're at Costco again. <laughs> We're not buying groceries. Actually, we're buying more. What, are we, what did we come for? <laughs> <laughs> we came for uh, breakfast drinks. Yes, we did. Hang on. Because our kids need to, they don't know how to diversify. No. They're going to need to during the summer because they're going to go through a case of those every single week. Yeah, no, they can't. They've got to learn how to make cereal, well, they make, oatmeal, they make the drinks pancakes, it's waffles, fast. eggs. They make it because it's fast and easy fast in the morning. Easy, right. So what we started to think about was... Um, some things that we could get Kaylee and Jacob for school when they move out next month. So I don't say what the big thing is that we currently have in our shopping cart. Um, but we can show the other things. So we're gonna kind of surprise them with these things. Um, just school supplies. Just school supplies, but they can both use these because there's so many of them. Notebooks. These ones are for Jacob. Well. And then these ones, well you'll see why. These ones are for Kaylee because they're they're cute ones. So, um, but then we're we're hesitating. You're actually sitting on top of the thing that we have in our shopping cart. We're hesitating on whether we should get it or not. So, we're gonna we're gonna walk to the store, make sure that there's nothing else school supply wise that we can get. Maybe text. I'm just trying to set them. them up. They're actually at the school. They're actually at Wazi right now. They're doing, what is it called again? Orientation. Orientation at the school. And then meeting with, Kaylee's meeting with her counselor to go over her transcript. She took her transcript with her from the college that she's going to here and see if all the, the credits will transfer. Um, you think they would transfer within the same state, but they screw people I know. so bad. Well, and it's like all the schools here use these colleges to get their concurrent enrollment from high school. And it's like, why wouldn't you let all those credits transfer? Yeah. So that's kind of annoying. So they're there doing that right now. And uh, they showed me a picture of campus and it's cute. And we're enjoying our best life at Costco. And ironically, Chelsea was like, oh, I met your, your uh, competitor. I met UW today. She's on a field trip as her last day of school. And it drives Kaylee crazy that Chelsea always teases her and she's like, I should get Kaylee a, a UW sweatshirt. Because <laughs> they're major competitors, the two schools are. Kaylee, so Kaylee wouldn't wear it, so wouldn't. No, I know. That's why she said it would go in the fire. They've been like texting each other all day today, so. Okay, this one has how many hours of school left tomorrow? Three. Two and a half. Two and a half. And I have to pick up your inhaler tomorrow after school okay. do you want no I have to I have to get it from the nurse right. but do you want to me to pick you up at school bus you want to go on the bus yeah. you're my only child who likes to go on the bus she but you, yeah okay but you're okay with that because I can't go until you're done with school and I'm not gonna anyway here's apples for you enjoy your relaxed time all right we're just kind of settling in for the night. Ashley, your friends can't have play dates. I'm bored. She's already bored. I'm not going to be hungry in an hour. I just had cottage cheese and apples and the rest of our fried rice from yesterday. Ah. I don't know why I bother putting the camera in her face. 
I mean, I'm having to use this cup for my <laughs> water because I left my Stanley at my, is it a Stanley? Yeah, I left my Stanley at our friend's house. They had a graduation party that we went to on Saturday. And uh, she's gonna bring it to work tomorrow. So I've been using my little, actually I have a couple water bottles around the house now. But this one will suffice. But I'm gonna go and relax. Watch TV in my room, put a sweatshirt on. I'm kind of cold, it's a cold rainy night now. So, yeah, we're gonna see Inside Out on in the afternoon when it's cheaper. What day? I don't know. We can, well, we don't need to go when it's rainy, but we can go any day after tomorrow. We could go, I don't know, I have to look at my schedule tomorrow. I don't know, maybe. Okay, so Dana wants me to show you. So I'm preparing. I'm going to do a presentation tomorrow for a bunch of um, 16 to 18 year olds and their parents. Parents might be there. About the climb that we're going to do in July. Doing Mount Adams. It's like a 12,000 foot peak. You're on snowfield. It's not like glaciers. Um, still late in the season. But anyways, we've done it a bunch of times before. But it's a great uh, climb for the kids because it's not technical. It's just snow fields and steep stuff with ice axes and crampons, but you don't have to rope up. You don't fall into any crevices. Um, so she wanted me to show you some of the gear I've just laid out. This is just the beginning of it. I still have to get the sleeping bag, water, purifier system, some food. Uh, my boots aren't up here, but it, and yeah, socks. Anyway, so what we're looking at here, do you want to film me? Why don't you film me? Uh. Don't, don't turn it off. Why are you? <laughs> you're just going to lay there and film me? No, you're going to have me. <laughs> you're not even aiming. Stop. I literally just wanted like. <sighs> You've been up here for like an hour. An hour. And I just want. But do you know how many times Ashley has come in here? Can we go to Target? Can we go to Target? Can we go look at new shoes? Can we, can we go to Target? I'm like, oh my gosh. Just let me. <laughs> let me just. Relax for a, sm a smidge. They're out there just dinking around. All right, so let me aim the camera appropriately at Jason. I think I can show you. And are you, you got to film my, my Adams. That'd be I a cool video. It. I'll try to take the drone. Well, this is too windy. I know. It's always it's always the issue with wind. Can you pack that all in? The drone is I a know. lot to pack it's in. A it's a weight. We'll see. Okay. Okay. All right. So this is a down jacket that balls up you've seen me wear it in winter before but it's it's a fold down jacket so that's when you're in camp and it gets cold type of stuff then i've got like shorts that i'm probably gonna wear up to camp the day of i just bought you new father's day shorts that will pack up a lot better than those we'll have to look at them and see if they got enough pockets and they'll wick away there's there's pockets that zip up in both the sides and the butt nice so that's his father's day gift but it's just not going to be so here. Here's for... some soft shell pants to buy Marmot. These are pants that I'm going to wear uh, going up uh, from camp, which is 9,000 feet up to like 12. I'll have gaiters. Uh, so it's got pants. Uh, then you got like the shell jacket for blocking the wind, things like that, waterproof. That's from uh, his days. A lot of this, well, the Marmot jacket, that's from your days at working oh, yeah, at actual Marmot. Only... I know, yeah, I could use a new one. He worked for an outdoor company when we first got married. And then there's like a, you know, layer, upon layer, upon layer. I wore the one today, but a lot of wicking shirts and clothing type stuff. And then my glove system. These little babies have been awesome. Oh gosh, they're racing gloves. <laughs> they're so dorky. No, they're they're awesome. Yeah, but they're okay. One of these Father's Days or birthdays, can yeah, we about, research? We can research other gloves. These are okay. awesome because my hands can get wet. They still stay dry. I've ice climbed in these babies. I know. Whatever. They're just... But then... They're racing well, gloves. They're not racing gloves. They're, they're, literally called, they're, they're, they're actually wakeboarding gloves. Okay, racing wakeboards. Fine. Look. Because that helps you grip. you got to be able to grip your stuff. Grip okay. ice screws. Okay, moving on. Moving on. Okay. And then you have shells. These are the big gloves that can go over to keep things extra warm. So I and dry. Shells, yeah. Warm and dry. So there's the that um show me your backpack that it all goes in well i'll get there patience don't rush me <laughs> he's 
He so, was doing this all morning. Uh, this is my baby sack because I what I do is I take my sleeping bag and I put it in a baby sack. And a baby Tell sack. Tell people what a baby sack is. People don't so know. There's, so there's tents, uh, like a tent. You know what a tent is. This is basically a mini tent that just wraps around the sleeping bag. So it's a breathable, waterproof shell that goes over your sleeping bag, and that's what I sleep in. Uh, I don't. Does sleep it have? In a tent. There's no tent poles or anything. It just no. lays over your face. How it is does. that not claustrophobic? It can be a little bit. It looks so Depends weird. on the weather. You Maybe kinda, we should like you create you a, a little. The key with this is you have to create. You don't want to breathe in going into all of this because then it con condenses and freezes on you. So you have to create like a little shell where your mouth is sticking out. If it's really. You should get a better one than that. We could. It'd be, they have make some with more of a. Thing. Right. That would be nice. Yeah. But I have sacrificed getting new gear. So don't don't do this. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. You're such a So I have that. And I, have, I, have I am nice always. Shh, shh. This is no, stop. Okay. I have. I no, no, no. Just pause. This. this is in your favor. This is yeah. in your favor. Have I struggled for years to figure out what to get you for birthdays, Father's Day, Father's Day, Christmas? But I tell you, you don't have to get anything. I know, but these are good things for me to get. Okay. Next year. Okay. I mean, you know, I did surprise you with a trip to Hawaii. That is a pretty big gift. Pretty good gift. Okay. When you turn 50, I'll do something for you. Yeah, it probably will fall <laughs> through. <laughs> I'll plan it myself. So, uh, the other thing, you know, these little meals. I will say, if you do any backpacking, you buy these meals. Whatever serving size it says. Three it, servings? Is that what it says? Well, this says three servings. There's no chance, unless you're like Ashley size, there's no way this is going to feed three people. If you're one person, you're going to eat the whole thing. At least two to three people because they're just small little serving sizes. Maybe there's other brands. Well, and you're working out like the yeah, entire time. I've yet to find any brand that ever had proper serving size. But then, what the heck? You have like a little buff. These things are awesome because they keep your neck. You can pull them up over your head, like super keep you warm, block the wind, super awesome. I did that over a face mask. Uh, I got a headlamp, of course. And then I've got yeah, another buff. This is probably my hat. It's a little wet from today. You got that one in Hawaii. Got that one in Hawaii. This is my hat for going up to camp. Mm -hmm. um, just a basic hat. And then if it's warm or cold, I have another more insulated hat. This would go over the buff. You know, is it all this kind of thing? And then you get, you know, your goggles and mask. Um, uh, and that's the pack you put it all in. Yeah. <coughs> the ice axe. Um, just because it's steep and, it, you know, for self-arrest. Plus going up, you need to, like, plan it and helps you get, like, you know, going up. Um, then there's, these are gaiters. Gaiters are things that go around your boot to keep the snow from going down your boot. That's what gaiters are. Um, and then there's, I've got several types of crampons, but these are crampons for basic uh, glacial travel. You have ones for like vertical ice that are more aggressive in the front and more Explain rigid. what a crampon is. People don't know what these are. Those are your shoes. Yeah, yeah. but these they've the never spikes. seen this. These are the spikes that go on your boots. You attach it to your boots. Attach it to your boots so you can walk on ice. Um, I may or may not use these. I, yeah. You just take them with you in case. Maybe they're heavy. <laughs> On this mountain, if you know what you're doing, you can walk with boots, and it's fine. It's not like true glacier on bigger mountains or other stuff. I think it'll be fine. But anyways, this is, you'll have these. Okay. Do you have anything else? Um, this I'll need the full. Well, you have more system. stuff to get downstairs too. Yeah, I've got to get my sleeping bag and stuff, so I'll put it in here. Uh, oh, then there's a water system, you know, a hydration system with a tube. But um, you need all that ready for tomorrow night. Are you going to go straight there from work? Yeah. Well, so it's at 7. I should you'll be able to... to come home, pick it up. Okay. Go. You might... I'm going to pull the car out. You might need to go and get it out of the garage. I do need and to have get it ready. sleeping bag done. And then, of course, there's trekking poles. Take your little... Sleeping oh. pads. Are you going to take both your trekking poles or just the one that, that I got you that shrinks down? Well, someone's broke. No, the new one I got you that we took to Hawaii. 
Yeah, that's all I've got left now. Oh, you just acted like you had two poles. I do have two poles. <laughs> Did I get you two? Yeah, they come as a pair. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, so they're, yeah. And, and that's just, that's way easier for going up and going down. But once you get into steep stuff, then you use your axe. Because it's too but steep for poles. The boys aren't going to be able to have an axe, are you yeah. just... Tell them to get axes. You are? Yeah, they've oh. got to get axes. Uh, Do they, can they rent those? Yeah. Do you know where they can rent them? REI. It's not my problem. <laughs> you're I'm not technically a leader. I know you're not. I know you're not. You're just the one that knows what you're doing. Yes. So I'm going along as a non-leader, non-guide. Mountain man. can help when someone has But you're not questions. responsible or I'm liable. responsible <laughs> or liable for anything. Um, anyways. Yeah. So. And just so anyone knows, I don't worry about him when he does. Like, I am so comfortable with him, with him doing this kind of stuff. I know everyone kind of gets worried. this mountain. This mountain is... This is nothing compared to... You could, you could slide and hurt your leg or something. Yeah. Um, you could get injured and then it's a problem, but... You could get injured. Just but you can get injured anywhere. You could get injured on the trail you were on yeah, this yeah, morning. Yeah. It's not like other mountains where you could fall in a crevice or, you know, avalanche come down on you. Yeah. Or, you know... But there's a reason people ask you to go with them when you're not a leader. I've just have I've done this before. Your experience. I've done the experience. Um, there's one or two other people I wish would come, but they're super busy and can't come. Um, so, anyways. All right. While he gets the rest of his stuff all packed up, we have to move the cars so he can get it out from up above. Oh. What? But if what? there's other viewers out there who eat, well, their husbands or them or whatever. That do this isn't a. You can be female and... I know, but if you're a climber and you want to climb Mount Rainier or Mount Baker, or I've done pretty much almost all the mountains right now. I want to do Mount Hood. But if you are a climber and you've actually climbed before or you've done a good amount of stuff, anyways, reach out. Maybe you He's can, always uh, looking for new partners. I'm always looking for people to climb with because so many people have moved away or whatever, lost interest like my brother. Uh, I need more people to climb with. Obviously, we'd have to like, you know, do work up to it, yeah. Work up to it, or something. You don't just like rope up to some random person that you don't know. But I'm always looking for more people to climb with. So yeah, reach out. Is okay. Move this type of thing is like six hundred, eight hundred dollars probably. What is a bivy sack thing? Maybe a bivy. At least oh, to replace that bivy sack. Well, because that's to like get a new one. That's probably it's older. Twenty years old. Well, is that from when you worked at Marmot? Well, probably. So that's twenty-four years, like three years ago, that's twenty-three awesome. years 20, ago. Whatever. Yeah, that there's sometimes you have an expiration on outdoor qu equipment, babe, well, so that it actually protects you and doesn't harm you. Oh no, it won't harm me. It's in good shape. If it was that far gone, I wouldn't use it. All right. Well, you do keep oh. your your gear. You know, I do need a new harness. Do Technically, if I were to do any like real rock stuff, yeah, it'd probably be better to have a harness. Okay, well, see, you're these are great ideas for birthdays and Father's Day. So, okay. like I said, I, he does have can you not make this more difficult for me to get up? <laughs> Snort. Okay, I would only go get her a snack right now at Target. I'm only going to do that because we need to go and look for new shoes. We'll show you go get your shoes, <laughs> don't wear them, don't wear them, but. <laughs> Her shoes. I have literally just been, you are not making this easy. Ashley, she's right in my zone. Her shoes are trash. I think it's the worst condition any of her shoes. Yeah, but I haven't wanted to buy new ones because I didn't want them to get trashed at school. I just wanted them to like make it through the summer. So. Okay, we've gone to Target for snacks and to look at shoes there, even though we know we're gonna get them here. And this is why, you wanna show them your old one? Uh, well, they're all beat up. There's that, and then this whole one is just ripped. like all the way through to her sock. So these ones are kind of cute. I like the. Okay, we did not pick a shoe, correct? Yeah. So we'll try. Oh, I stupid flap on the lens. Sorry about that. It's showing right here. That's the. Sure. My lens cover is not staying on. <laughs> <laughs> um, she didn't find the ones she wanted, so we're gonna either try another store or come back in a week or so and see if we have the one she did want in the right size. So, 
We'll try again for tomorrow. She's gonna wear Crocs. <laughs> it's not gonna rain, and the other ones are, they're done. Yeah. We probably need to just throw them away and force no. ourselves. Okay, fine, wear them again. Can I let people sign them? <laughs> Your friends? Yeah. Fine, I don't care. Okay. Um, but we're gonna sign off with you guys and go home. I have a lasagna in the oven. Hopefully dad put it in. <laughs> Make some Caesar salad, and we're gonna call it a night. It's been a long day. So take care, we'll see you guys next time.